Hello there team, welcome back to Game Dev Academy. I am The Shane, and if you want to let me know you're here, then leave me a comment down below, say something nice, or put your League of Legends username down below, and I'll beat you at Teamfight Tactics. I'm getting really good at that. Anyways, in the last video, we got the game over text to come up on screen, and in this video, we're just going to be kind of finishing that off, polishing it, so that game over happens in a, a bit more of a state that we want to. So we'll just reset the game instead of ending it, and we'll also make it so that no new balls are spawned, so we don't want players still being able to fire a ball when game over has happened. So, let's do it! We now have a game over state set up for the game, and we are communicating that to the player. We're leaving the message on screen for a little while, and then we're having the, the application quit. And what we're going to do now is just make that game over state, the actions that we do at game over, a little bit better. And we'll start with making it so that no new balls are spawned once it's game over, just because it will look better. And to do that, we're going to go into the paddle, the player paddle. And that's because this is where spawn ball is happening. And what we're going to do is set a condition on this. So that the ball will only be spawned if game over isn't true. So what we need to do, first of all, is get the game mode. And as we've done in previous blueprints, we've not got it as a variable here. So we'll set that up. So up here, on begin play, before I do new ball, I'm going to get game mode. And I'm going to make that a variable. So we'll do cast to game mode. And that's going to be our BO game mode, just as it's been every other time. And under object, we want to do get game mode. Lovely. And then as game mode, come out of here and we're going to promote that to a variable. And we're going to call that variable game mode. Let's get rid of the space chain. There we go. And we're just going to set that up there. And then we'll do new ball. So let's comment this up a little bit. So this little area here is getting the game mode. And that gives us a new ball. I don't need to comment that, it's already there. So now here, we have access to the game mode. So what we'll do is go to the game mode, and we'll get it. And then out of that, we need to get the game over variable. We really need to know if it's true or false, don't we? And that then is going to feed a branch. So let's get a branch. And our condition of the branch is, is it game over? So if it is game over, we actually don't want to do anything. So I'm going to disconnect this. So I'm going to hold Alt and just click on that wire. And we're only going to move forward in this script if that is set to false. If it's not game over, we can spawn balls. But if it is, no spawning, no balls. Ixnay on the balls, eh? I think that's right. So that's pretty good. We've got to check on that. Now what we want to do is make it so that the game resets instead of quitting. And that's in our game mode, I believe. Yep, so we're currently set to quit game. I don't want to quit anymore. I want to reset the game. I'll do that by just loading the level again. So after the delay, I'm going to do open level. And here, you can type the name of the level. And we can see here that mine's called level one, and you need to get this typed exactly right. So capital L, E, V, E, L, and then the number one for me. And that should work. So let's compile that. Make sure that I compiled my paddle as well, which I didn't. And let's save everything. And we need to give that a test. So I'll just cut out the bit where I lose most of the lives. And then I will see you when it's time to lose the last life. Okay, so here's the last life. So what we're hoping for then is that when this life loses, no new ball spawns. And the level after five seconds will reset. So game over's there. No new ball. Let's reload the level. Hey, <laughs> there we go. We've got a game, guys. Okay, so that's kind of it then for the nuts and bolts of it to get us up to the kind of prototype stage. Now, we've got something that functions as a simple breakout game. What that means, though, is that going forward, we can spend a little bit more time on making this pretty and then some new features. So if you cast your mind back to step one, I showed you that we're going to have a bit of a castle. We'll have um, walls that we can knock down. The ball's going to be visible when it goes behind things. It's just going to be good. So moving forward, it's going to be the fun stuff. All the things that I think are fun. Not that this hasn't been fun, but everything's just been black and white and boring. So let's make it more beautiful. -er.
Yes, let's do that. Right, any road, thanks for watching. This has been great so far, and I will see you in the next step. I believe that quality education should be available to everybody, and for that reason, all of the classes at Game Dev Academy are completely free, and we're supported by our very generous school governors over at Patreon. If you'd like to become a Game Dev Academy governor and support our work, as well as helping us to steer the channel in the right direction, then use the link in the description to be taken to the Patreon page.